look at these other you know programs uh, that are just constantly in the gun and these kids you know even when they take a knee and stuff uh, at the end of the game they're still receiving a gun snap so being able to, to play in the center in high school and obviously all through my college career um, it's been great and, and not only that having the pro style concepts being able to read throughout the entire field scanning from one side to the other um, you know going from my first second to third read uh, and just being able to, to identify coverages as well, it, it's been great. And, and credit goes to the coaches as well for, you know, Coach Salem for being able to teach us the, those ways and to be such a great coach. And yeah, opportunity great to go team. through the on the field drills. What are you most forward to looking? I'm sure you want to show that you can make all the throws. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to going out there and just just throwing it, uh, the uh, throwing the routes, throwing the outs, throwing the uh, the digs, the go routes, the post corner. Um, I just want to go out there and, and just let it fly. Talk about what you're proudest of. Obviously, you left Michigan State as the winningest quarterback. Your senior class won 43 games. You won 34 as a starter. When you look back at your career, what are you fondest of? Just some memories with the guys. You know, I've been so fortunate to be on such great teams. Um, you look at the bowl games that we've been able to win, the Rose Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, um, the conference championships. Um, there's really not one thing that I can pick out. I would just say all the victories, you know, with the guys um, in the locker room after the game, you know, celebrating with them and just, just having a great time with the teammates. Connor Cook. Hey, Greg, y'all do, do the combine before the combine? Didn't know now. I didn't, not till now. We came out last night. Right? I got you. What do you think, Mike? You, you. The Cleveland Raiders select Connor Cook, quarterback uh -huh. from Michigan State. Now, why would that happen when Derek Carr is obviously the apple of Raider Nation's eye and has got nothing you but the highest upside possible. You asked me the same question when Kirk Cousins was drafted in the same exact draft as RG3. Understand, he's a fourth-round pick, and that, who's the guy we're comparing him to? We're comparing him to Kirk Cousins. That's who we think he can be. Now, when I look at this guy, does he have enough arm strength? Yeah, he does. He was a 58% thrower over his three-year starting career. Now, these two throws I chose high accuracy obviously but one of the criticisms are can he throw people open in this throw yeah he does he anticipates into a window there are three outstanding throws right there and off play action he's going to find a tight end into it so we saw four tight window throws the knocks on connor cook and why he dropped number one 58 percent thrower over his career he was 34 and five that okay so that's pretty outstanding but the second piece, whether you like it or not, is the whole leadership and captain conversation. Some teams in the NFL believe he should have been a captain as voted on by his teammates. Some NFL teams don't care. Time will tell, Daniel. It's interesting comparison there. To me, A.J. McCarron from Alabama was the one that I thought of. And ironically, A.J. McCarron ended up sliding in the draft as well, ended up going in the fifth round of the Cincinnati Bengals. Both these guys at powerhouse college programs, big winners. Get a lot of credit for that. They both love to hang in the pocket, big, strong pocket passers. And there was a little bit of a personality question about A.J. McCarron when he came out. You get some of the same questions about Connor Cook. But C.D., Reggie McKenzie, he comes from that Green Bay tree. They collect quarterbacks, day two, day three. They always want to have another one ready, and they can trade them off at some point in time if, if that needs to happen. And real quick, when, when, uh, when, uh, the, when Washington drafted Kirk Cousins, remember, they drafted RG3, they moved up and got him. People said, why would you get a second rookie quarterback? And I said at that time, if you think he's going to be better than what your current backup situation is, I have zero problem with that. Right now in Oakland, Matt McGloin, Garrett Gilbert, he should compete nicely for the number two job for there at that place right away. Yeah.